Good morning, 47. Your destination is the Himapan Luxury Hotel Resort on the Chao Phraya River, just outside Bangkok. Your main target is Jordan Cross, the lead singer of The Class, a renowned indie rock outfit recording their highly anticipated sophomore album. But this millennial poster boy harbors a dark secret. One year ago, promising young actress Hannah Highmore fell to her death from Cross's penthouse loft in Dumbo, New York. According to the police, Miss Highmore's death was a tragic accident, but her parents remain unconvinced. They firmly believe that Cross murdered Hannah and only escaped justice due to the power and influence of his father, billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross. A secondary target, Ken Morgan, corporate fixer and attorney to the Cross family, is also staying at the hotel. Cunning and unscrupulous, Morgan was a key agent in the cover-up of Hannah Highmore's murder and Jordan Cross's subsequent acquittal. The Highmores understandably want retribution, and while the system may be powerless, ICA is anything but. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Bangkok 47. Ken Morgan has booked the Queen Suite, but has yet to check in. You will find him in and around the restaurant. Oddly enough, Jordan Cross seems completely unaware of his presence. Cross and the class have set up a recording studio in the Emperor's Suite on the third floor. Private security around Cross and his entourage is highly capable. Still, I'm sure you can find your way into his inner circle. After all, today is Jordan Cross's 27th birthday. The age when rock stars die. Good luck, 47. Hello, sir. How are you today? Checking in. Name's Tobias Reaper. Thank you so much, sir. Here's your key card. Welcome to the Himapan Hotel. Welcome to the Himapan Hotel. Please follow me. I hope you'll enjoy your stay. After you. Sir, please. This way. My words exactly. Please, sir, follow me. I'll take you to your room. Yeah, across the I mean, it's like they're taking over the place room by room. As if the noise wasn't enough. Oh. There goes my next ex husband. Uh, this is your room. You can always let reception know if there's anything you need. There's a problem with the toilet. Take care of it. Now. Uh, I am here to take care of the toilet, sir. Very sorry about that. It's really highly unusual.
That is Ken the Brick Morgan, lawyer and corporate fixer. Mr. Morgan, sir. When can I have my... You know that is very rude, sir. Mr. Morgan, sir. The Queen Suite really is ready for you now. Follow me, please. Oh, you brought a map this time. Very well. Lead the way. Hey, it smells so fresh around here. Thank you. Right, this has gone far enough. Since you clearly don't know where you're going, let's not waste more of each other's time. What kind of slapdash circus are they running out here? Got a disturbance looking into it? Thumbs up. Central, I'm reading you five by five. We have a five from Central. Central, I have arrived at the location and it looks clear. Over. Ken Morgan, 
Check again for messages, please. Um... No, Mr. Morgan, uh, no messages. Get cracking. Okay. See what the hell that was. Vermitivo. Yes, sir. Hey, you security guy. So what guard do the we have here? <laughs> Coconut and turmeric curry and blue swimmer crab with calamansi lime. Mmm. Well done. <coughs> yes, I am well aware that the cake topper is missing, but can't it wait? We're you tremendously busy here. Can you act normally, please? It's only numbers. I'm sure Jordan Cross doesn't need a cake to remind him how old he is. Thomas Cross. The cake was his idea. Uh, Good uh, to see that security uh, is on high alert. Today is Jordan Cross's birthday, and manager Dexy Barrett has prepared a small surprise party for him. The kitchen has baked a special vegan cake to suit his rock star tastes, and the only thing missing is a cake topper with the number 27. I suggest you speed things along, 47. Could be the break we need.
Understood, Chef. Bonjour, chef. I'll give you a short version, darling. Nobody gets in or out except for VIPs and crew. No hotel staff is responsible. Yo, chef. Cross will be here shortly, and I dare say he's in for a surprise. Hi, Dexy. Yeah, we're, we're just about ready over here. So, uh, bring on the birthday boy. Yeah, 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 we know the words. Okay, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, guys, uh, George is on his way down. Must admit, it's all a bit over. Cross is popular, sure. Look, you want me to deliver it? Deliver what, mate? The letter, Neil. The one Dexy Barrett told you to take down... Uh, excuse me, you're invading my bubble. You're in my bubble right now. The letter, Neil. The one Dexy Barrett told you to take down to reception three hours ago? Ah, uh, right. <laughs> no, I'm just comatose today. No, no, I'm good, thanks. I'll pop down in a moment. Yeah, so you keep saying... Happy Look at Dexy Barrett is Jordan's manager. He's not the boss of us. Now, who's an old four, anyway? She didn't say. But he's staying at the Queen Suite, so I figure he's someone important. All the more reason to deliver his letter. So, Dexy Barrett sends a message to the occupant of the Queen Suite, a.k.a. Ken Morgan. This must be the reason for Morgan's surprise visit. Sounds promising. Clearly, Barrett doesn't want her client, Jordan Cross, to know about Morgan's presence, so whatever business the two have, they're likely to do it in secret. I suggest you intercept that message, 47. Could be a chance to catch Morgan off guard. I will. In. A. Minute.
Yeah, yeah. Still want to punch him, though. Seriously? Why? Jordan's amazing. He's cool, good-looking, and let's not forget, he's a kick-ass artist. Yeah. You know, I think you just answered your own question. Find another spot, buddy. This is taken, okay? You mind? Whoa, occupied, okay? Hey, lock's not working, but it's occupado, capiche? I'm not really sure I've seen <laughs> Uh, who are you again? Can you believe this prick? Who does he think he is? Stop where you're going. People who sneak are generally Hi, Dexy Barrett asked me to deliver this. It's for the gentleman staying at the Queen Suite. Of course. I'll make sure that Mr. Morgan gets it. How do you do, sir? I trust the recordings are going well. Sorry, uh, I don't think I know you, mister. Hey, you guys know this Joker? You need to pay attention here. Ken Morgan. Any messages for me? Let me check. Yes, Mr. Morgan. A letter was only just delivered. Here you are, sir. Oh, finally.
basement living room. Call me when you get there. Lexi Barrett. Well done, 47. Morgan is on the move, and we know exactly where he is headed. We're meeting at the living room. Oh, I know. Sex. Mm. Welcome to the exciting world of corporate underhand dealings. Hi there. Excuse me, sir, but you're not on my list, so I will have to ask you to kindly leave. Please comply and leave the premises. Well, well, well. <laughs> I don't want to spoil the party, but I only want to. Bodyguard. Hey, how you doing? Hey there. According to the schedule, the exterminator plans to inspect the Emperor's suite. On his request, the hotel manager will clear out the recording studio and bring everyone into the atrium for the duration of the inspection. I suggest you locate the exterminator, 47. He appears to be fumigating on the ground floor. I got it covered, okay? Besides, even at very large doses, this compound, it's not lethal for humans. I mean, okay, yeah, sure, it'd knock you out for a bit, and I, yeah, it'd give you a headache, probably, but, uh, I mean, that's about it. Still, imagine the lawsuits. Whoa, not gonna happen, Chief. Believe it or not, I've done this before. trespassing you need to stay right hey stop please you're gonna die bastard i don't have a visual
Target is leaving a trail. Mr. Stag Party. Central, I'm reading you five by five. Uh, area is clear. Proceeding to next location. Out. Dispatch, dispatch, for Christ's sake, you there? We got a public nuisance on the loose. There was at least a month's pay in that wallet. Father like son, am I right? about this, okay? It's freaking me out a lot, okay?
Apparently, they had this huge row in the middle of the night. Cross and his manager fighting, oh, huh? Oh. Well, bring on the gossip. Well, I only picked up bits and pieces. Something about Miss Barrett confiscating an audio recording from Cross. Said it was for his own good that listening to it had turned into an obsession. Hannah Heimel's name was mentioned. The girlfriend who died? Yeah, but... You don't believe all that crap, do you? That Cross killed his girlfriend. Well, my brother is an officer. Trust me. The plot thickens. Apparently, Jordan Cross has been obsessing over a mysterious audio recording featuring the voice of Hannah Highmore. However, his manager, Dexie Barrett, has confiscated the recording for her client's own good. Well, I suggest you get a hold of that recording, 47. Sounds like the perfect bait, and if my hunch is right, a chance to confront Cross with his crimes. You could start by searching Miss Barrett's private quarters, room 404, inside the Emperor's suite. Domestic disturbances don't just happen on Skid Row. The rich just grow more expensive. Should I be like worried? One of those rock stars. Uh, that's Abel De Silva. He's only one of the most awesome drummers on the New York indie scene. He was in Death and Taxes and and Flat Earth Society. Yeah, I, I like Top Forty. Ah. Uh, anyway, De Silva's filling in for the drummer in Jordan Cross's band, okay. who quit yesterday. The record label flew him in, and I took him up to the restaurant lounge. Oh, Miss, Miss Barrett, the manager, she's gonna come get him soon. Gee. Interesting. The class's regular drummer unexpectedly quit the band, and the record label has flown in a replacement. Upcoming indie drummer Abel De Silva, who is currently waiting in the restaurant lounge. Better yet, Jordan Cross has not previously met Mr. De Silva, and the two of you do share a resemblance, 47. We get just a few minutes of privacy here? So, uh, when is Dexy Barrett coming to pick me up? I don't know. I just carry the heavy stuff, man. You can head up to the studio yourself if you want. No, oh, no, I don't want to seem pushy. I'll, I'll wait. She didn't forget. How is Jordan? Huh? Hey, <laughs> still reading from Anna okay? Heimel's death, I bet. Can you imagine? Losing your girlfriend and get accused of killing her. At least his dad owns half the world's tabloids. Did he ever fully recover? Oh, Any game, I just carry the hobby stuff. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Stop. Yeah, I'm sure he gets old. Law of diminishing returns, right? Hey, wasn't he supposed to fish at my Kill them all, man. Yeah. Got... Sorry, sir. Really can't let you through here. I've got strict orders. Oh, sure, sure. The tech industry is a pretty wild place, let me tell you. I mean... The office branch is for Hey, who are you? Bloody hell. Can I help you? Excuse me, sir, but you're not on my list, so I will have to ask you to kindly leave. Please comply and leave the premises. Mr. De Silva?
Hey, good to see you, man. Oh, hey, Mr. De Silva. Dexy Barrett was supposed to pick you up at the restaurant lounge. Huh. Oh, well, while well, you're here, who cares? Nice day for it, isn't it? <laughs> oh, gotta tell me about that. That is Jordan Cross, revered and reviled in equal measures. Do I know you? Oh, hey, you're Quentin's replacement, right? Abel De Silva. Thanks for coming out, Abe. Follow me. Everyone, this is Abel De Silva. He's here to take over for Quentin. Uh, drums all set up, Wes. Good to go. Cool. So, what do you say, man? Get behind the kit, show us what you made up. Some kind of machine, aren't you? Oh man, nicely done. Why don't you walk with me, Abe? There's something I want to show you. After you. Still pissed about Quentin leaving, but you know, just don't expect her to roll out the red carpet. So just do your thing, do it well, and she'll soften up. It's fine. Where are we going? Atrium roof. Look, I want to pitch you something, and I don't want the others to hear. It's bad from around. Climbing the cultural ladder, I see. So good work, 47. I like your style. It's very tight, very new way. You uh you should talk to Dexy when we get back to New York. Uh, who's repping you? Small agency. Very low profile. You wouldn't have heard of them. <laughs> Old buddies from school, huh? Don't have the heart to let them go? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. But believe me, man, you gotta aim higher. Anyway. So I have this project coming up, yeah? I think it's right up your alley. Going solo? Yeah, that's the plan. I could use a solid drummer. A hired gun, not a partner. 
Someone who does the job without getting noticed. Oh. So you're interested? It's what I do. Great, yeah. Oh, mull it over. Talk to your people if you have any. You can decide when we get back to New York. Good talking to you, April. Target down. Next up, Ken Morgan. Chinese guys who say they can do our programming better, cheaper, and better. I'm telling you, every night. How have you not heard? Security is tight today, sir. Sorry for the inconvenience. you any manners? I think so. Hey, I... What's in this? Apart from that, I would hmm. like to add that the... We're spot on. Mr. Morgan, sir. The Queen Suite really is ready for you now. Follow me, please. Oh, you brought a map this time. Very well. Lead the way. Good day to you, sir.
Whoa. I will find someone who can teach you some manners. Oh. How's it going? This guy I just saw, I, I think bad news. Really bad news. Thank you. Right, this has gone far enough. Since you clearly don't know where you're going, let's not waste more of each other's time. What kind of slapdash circus are they running out here? Stay safe out there, security man. Hey there, 
billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross was discovered earlier this evening, slain by multiple gunshot wounds. Cross was scandalously kidnapped this morning at the funeral of his only son, claiming a position as Jordan Cross. A notorious recluse, Thomas Cross has not been apparently by a few years, and authorities are now looking into a connection between the two deaths. stripped clean within hours of the kidnapping. Someone wanted the son dead to lure out the father. Someone smart enough to stay in the shadows while we did the wet work and the high moors picked up the check. A shadow client. Someone got rich. The contract was just. That was a sound problem. I know you don't care about politics, 47. But ICA is neutral, or as has been. Can't allow ourselves to be manipulated. Besides... It's happened before. Italy. Morocco. Paris. All our clients got their intel the same way. Anonymous tips from a hidden source. Each contract perfectly legit. Yet part of a grander design. see the pattern. Somebody does. The board has asked us to chase down this shadow client, and our analysts are closing in as we speak. I know that tone. Someone's playing a game, 47. The question is, against whom? 